Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Gold Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at two PS5s that I bought off of eBay for $25 a piece. So let's take these PS5s over to the upper cam and see what we got going on. All right, so we're going to start off with one PS5 at a time. So this is the one without the disk drive. Now to give you guys a quick backstory on how this worked, I actually have notifications turned on eBay for certain search terms and obviously P broken PS5s, broken Xbox series. Those are the, the typical search terms that I usually have. Well, two weeks ago in the middle of the night, I actually received a notification for um, a PS5 for sale for only $25. And I got on there, it was a guy who was selling two PS5s, $25 a piece, 50 bucks altogether, plus shipping, the shipping was 150 altogether, a total cost of $200 for two PS5s. Now, obviously I know the risk when buying these things, there's never really a guarantee if you're actually gonna get a PS5 or a PlayStation 1. Well, to my surprise, I opened up this box. To my surprise, opened up that box. Two PS5s arrived in the mail. One without a disk drive and one with a disk drive. So I have no idea what's going on with these consoles. So let's go back over to the upper cam and see what we can find out. Now, the first thing I like to do is first off, look at the console. Now you can obviously see that this does have water damage on it. Let's see if we can get it turned on. All right, so it actually, to my surprise, actually turns on. Um, let's see if it can actually go to the solid white, which means that it is fully booted up. So I'm just gonna let it sit here, pulsate blue and see if it get the white light. Oh, we just did. Yeah, so it's fully white. I have the HDMI core plugged in. And as you can see, we have no signal on the TV whatsoever. All right, so <clears throat> next thing I wanna do is take my microscope. I want to look under the mic microscope and see if I can see anything going on with the HDMI port. I can't see any noticeable damage. So, Let's just take this thing all the way down to the motherboard and see what we can see once we get down to the motherboard, because I'm not sure what is actually going on with this thing. So I also want to note right here, you can see a bunch of liquid right here. So we have it down to the motherboard. So I just ran across a couple snags. It was two screws that were stripped. One of them I was able to get out just fine. The other one was severely stripped because of who I was working in here previously before had no clue what they was doing. Now, just without me even looking at through the microscope, this HDMI port looks terrible. So let's take it over to the microscope so I can show you guys what I'm talking about because this looks pretty bad. So as you can tell, it looks like someone tried to do some work over here previously. Um, looks like they cooked up a good amount of the section. I mean, this whole in this the whole section of this board is cooked. Yeah, this is insane. I don't even think that component that's supposed to be right here is even there. I think it's completely lifted off the board. Um, so this is why the HDMI port looks fine. It's because it's a brand new HDMI port. It's just they had no clue on how to put it in there. They left every single bit of flux on the header. <laughs> oh my, this this is crazy. Yeah, and they you can see that they probably didn't know how to take off the old port. Flip over to the other side. So they, they completely just yanked it out and ripped it out. Yeah, you could we could just see obvious damage around the entire HDMI header. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna just have to go one by one. First off, before I even grab that Kapton tape, I'm gonna clean around this entire header. I'm gonna take my toothbrush, I dipped it in some IPA, and I'm just gonna just do a, a, a thorough clean. All right, that should be good enough for now. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our Kapton tape, place it all around the HDMI header, and get this old, old new <laughs> HDMI port removed and get on a um, working HDMI port. We got the Kapton tape always over the HDMI port. Let's go back under the microscope and heat this up and get it taken off. All right, so as you can see, all of this is just completely horrible. So we're gonna have to redo this entire header and get new solder on everything. So let's get that done. I switched a microscope to display on my TV just so I can obviously get a better view of it besides just having it run it on a PC. Um, the component that's supposed to be there is obviously gone. Um, they looks like whoever worked on it previously bridged what was there instead of just putting a new component from a donor motherboard so that's something we're gonna have to do before we even put on the new hmi port i'm gonna have to put on a new component All right, so just to let you guys know what I had to do with this component, I actually went on ahead and as you can see, I kind of scraped off a little bit up here just to extend it, just to get this component to fit because I couldn't find an exact fit. I actually took a um, PCB board, as you can see right here, from a PS4 fat model console and got it on there. I don't know why the screen is kind of twitching like that, but the next thing we're going to do is get this HDMI port on there. So we got the new HMI port. Now it's time to go down and solder each individual pin onto the motherboard. So let's get that done. All right, so as you can tell, this whole section of the board looks way better. Our HDMI IC is clean. Our EMI filters are clean. Brand new HDMI port. Um, solder looks great on it. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it to the other side to make sure that no none of the components on the other side fell off. And if they did, obviously, hopefully we can be able to find them or solder on new ones, but let's make sure. All right, so I went on ahead and cleaned underneath the motherboard. As you can tell, the components are still in place. I'm gonna be quite honest, I don't feel too comfortable with that component leaning slightly off like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of flux. I put a little bit too much on it, but it is what it is. And um, I'm just gonna go on ahead and 
flow this back into place just to make sure it has proper continuity. All right, so as you can tell now, that looks clean. So now we can go on ahead and get this thing put partially back together and test it out to see if it actually works now. All right, so we got it partially put back together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, blue light is on, fan is turning. Right now we have no signal on the screen. Let's see if we can be able to get past that. So it looks like everything is working just fine now. As first, we didn't have video. So as far as I can see, that is one PS5 down, one more to go. So let's move on to the next one and see what's going on with that one. All right, so I picked up the second PS5. So let's go over to the upper camera and see what's going on with this one. All right, so as you can tell, this now is a disk drive model as the previous one was just a without the disk drive. So let's actually go over here to the microscope because there was something I was looking at before I even picked this thing up. So as you can tell, this HDMI port on this one is badly damaged. So I'm just gonna assume this also has a HDMI port issue because I mean it's blatantly obvious we could tell that the HDMI port is destroyed so let's get it down to the motherboard and see exactly what's going on with that port on the board all right so as you can tell we got the HDMI port with the Kapton tape all around it. I got my fume extractor right next to it. Got my heat gun. I'm gonna take it, place it underneath the HDMI port, allow the solder to melt so we can be able to get this lifted off the board. All right, so we got the old HDMI port taken off. Now, I'm just going to clean around the port just a little bit and add a little bit of flux. All right, so we got the flux added on there. Now we're going to go ahead and take some solder. Hopefully you guys can see it. Solder iron. And we're going to start place a new fresh solder all around it. All right, so we got all fresh new solder on the header. Now we're gonna open up a new HDMI port and place it on there. All right, so we got the new HDMI port in place. Now we're gonna take some more of our flux. I'm gonna place it right over the header so we can individually solder down every single solder pin onto the header. All right, so that is a clean HDMI port. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this thing uh, partially back together, test it out to see if it works. And if this thing does work, then we would have bought two PS5s for a total of 50 bucks. Well, with the shipping $200 for two PS5s, that's a steal. So let's get this thing put back together and see if we can get it to work. All right, so we got the PS5 put partially back together. So let's go over to the upper cam. Let's turn this thing on and see if we can get this thing up and working. All right, so as you can see, it's partially put back together. Just press the power button, light went blue. Okay. All right, so we are now getting a signal. So let's wait to see if it gets to the home screen. 
All right, so I got my PlayStation controller hooked up. I'm actually, I actually just put in a disc just to make sure it can fully take in this. I always make this mistake. I always put the game upside down <laughs> just because the way the PS5 is laid out. All right, so it did load up the game. No problem when I'm ejecting it now just to make sure it still ejects properly. And it did eject. So it looks like both of the PS5s is actually repairable. Both of them had similar issues, both HDMI ports. The first one had a little bit of water damage and someone else tried to repair it before, obviously did a terrible job. Luckily, we was able to go inside of that PlayStation 5 console and get that one up and running just fine. Now, if you guys want to see more repair videos like this and want to see me purchase more PS5s and Xbox series consoles, make sure you go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. Um, we can also start doing things. Just please give me ideas down in the comments on what type of activities you want to see take place on this channel. If you want me to do something like repair some of these game consoles, some of these PS5s, and then do a giveaway um, to the subscribers, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. But besides that, I'll catch you guys on the next video, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.